This is part 36 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the Bootstrap media object. Bootstrap media object is used to place media objects like images of videos on the left or right hand side aligned with the content such as tweets, comments, etc. Let's see how to display something like this using the Bootstrap media object. Let's flip to Visual Studio. What I have done so far is created this images folder and within that we have got two images, Tom and Sam. The first thing that we want to do is display this image on the page. So let's create a div element right here and set its class to media. We want this image aligned on the left hand side of the text. So I'm going to nest another div element here and set its class to media left which is going to align the image on the left hand side of the text and inside this development let's create an anchor element and point its href attribute to hash inside this anchor element let's create an image element and point its source attribute to one of the images within our images folder let's point it to tom.png and on this image element we are going to use the media object css class Let's also include the all tag just in case if we are not able to display the image for some reason this is the message that will be displayed instead of the image. Let's save our changes and when we reload this page notice we get the image as expected. Now we want to display this text right here on the right hand side. So we are going to create another development and set its class to media body. And inside this, the first thing that we want is this heading right here. So to create that, I'm going to use an H4 element and set its class to media heading. And you know, let's say Tom commented on July 20th, 2016. So that's what we want to display. So Tom, and then we want the date to be italicized and you know a little bit small so I'm going to use the small tag and then the italics tag as well so the date is going to be July 20th 2016 and then finally we want a paragraph about bootstrap itself so let's include a paragraph element and then place a line of text about bootstrap notice when we reload our page we get what we expect if you want this image to be aligned on the right hand side then use media right instead of media left class and then this div element should be placed after media body element. Let's save our changes. Now when we reload our page notice we get the image on the right hand side. The vertical alignment of the media can be top, middle or bottom. The default is top. To align the media in the middle, use media middle class and to align it at the bottom, use media bottom class. Let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. I'm going to align the image first on the left hand side. So let's move this development to the top and let's use media left class. Let's make two more copies of this development. So the default vertical alignment is top. We are not using any of the vertical alignment classes on this media div. On this media div, let's use media middle. We want this to be aligned in the middle. And on the final one, let's use media bottom. Let's save our changes. And when we reload our page here, the media notice here it's at the top it's at the middle and it's at the bottom to see this properly let's squeeze this grid column a bit to do that let's actually change here the grid column size to call axis 4 now when we reload our page notice we can clearly see here the image is at the top here in the middle and here it is at the bottom Finally, let's discuss creating list of media objects. To create list of media objects, we use the media list class. Media lists are useful for creating comment threads that look like this or for creating article lists. Let's see how to create a comment thread like this using the media list class. Let's flip to Visual Studio. The first thing that I'm going to do here is create an unordered list and set its class to media list. 
and then place this first div element inside this unordered list. Within an unordered list, we cannot directly nest any other element except li. So I'm going to change this div element to li. And then I'm going to first remove this media middle class from the second div element and then move this div element inside the unordered list. I'm going to place this immediately after this paragraph element, you know, within this media body div. So what is this going to do? This is going to create a nested div. Let's save all changes. And at this point, look at this. When I reload this page, notice we have that nested media object here. Now let's say we have here, you know, the first comment is from Tom. We want Sam to reply to Tom's comment. So let's change the image and the name. So on the nested media object right here, let's change the image to sam.png and let's also change this alternate text to Sam and here the heading also to Sam. Now when we reload our page, notice it appears as if Sam replied to Tom and we again want Tom to be replying to Sam. To achieve that, what we will do is immediately after this paragraph element within this nested media body div, let's place you know, the same div. Let's save our changes and when we reload our page, notice we have three levels of nesting there. So to Tom's comment, Sam replied and again to Sam's comment, Tom replied. Let's increase you know, the grid column size here. So let's actually change it to call access seven and let's reload our page now it looks much better and finally again we have Tom's comment here now we want this to be present inside the list so what I'm going to do is take this development and move this inside the unordered list and then let's change this development to li Let's save our changes and when we reload our page, notice what we have here is similar to what we have right here. So it's that easy creating nested media objects using the media list class. Thank you for listening and have a great day.